I like the view. You do? Yes. Your best, my best view. <laughs> you you like suck. That. Come back. Okay, we'll show you. I like the view. You do? Yes. For my best view. Ugh. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back to Let's Do Something with Eliza. So, if you have been keeping up to date with Let's Do Something with Eliza and you watched my last video, you know that we are currently on a vacation. Ooh. We started our journey at the Hoover Dam, Las Vegas, and now we are on our way to the Grand Canyon. So that is going to be today's video, part two, I guess, of the travel vlog. I'm excited because it's my first time there. It's his first time there. I don't know how long it's going to take us there. I don't know if it's like they have a lot of stuff to do or it's just kind of like you look at it and it's like, oh, cool, and then bye, you know? Don't you want to look at the Grand Canyon? So I'll let you guys know how it goes. Let's get into this travel vlog part two. All right guys, we are pulling up to the pay station and then we are gonna be inside the park. So we came to the visitor center and it is closed because of COVID. So as you can see, they have some signs outside giving you some type of direction on where to go, but it's not like, you know, as useful as like if the visitor center was open. So just keep that in mind if you're planning to come anytime when COVID is still around. We're filming this in January 2021. It is absolutely freezing. Look at all the slush left over. First view ever of the Grand Canyon. It is Mathers Point as soon as you reach the parking. Oh look, you can get closer over there. But anywhere you stand is seriously like a good view. Look at that squirrel! Squirrel! Our first Arizona squirrel sighting. All right, this is the official Mathers Point view of the Grand Canyon. First impressions of the Grand Canyon. Speechless. No words for the beauty that is behind me. It's like the same like scenery, but it just all looks so pretty. Remember how I said I didn't know if we were gonna be able to spend all day here? Yeah, you definitely can. Just this one point alone took us at least like 40 minutes. <laughs> So this is on the orange route of the shuttle that's complimentary at the Grand Canyon. And it is an absolutely stunning view, but then again, they all are. And we even got to see some elk on the way here, which was super exciting. So well worth the shuttle ride. We 
just got back to our car. We spent at least like well over three hours in like the area that has like the visitor center and we took the orange shuttle. They have four in total, but right now they only have two open because it's like seasonal. The orange shuttle is the one that takes you more along like the rim to see the sights. The blue one is the one that takes you to like the different markets and like um, gift shops and food and like stuff like that. Absolutely 100% recommend like going all the way to the Yaki Point because it is absolutely beautiful. I think that one is where we got the best pictures and like the best like view out of everything. I mean, yeah, it is sad because of COVID, but like it's nice in a way because there is like no nobody like nobody you're not going to be fighting for pictures you're not going to be waiting in line to get on the shuttles i'm telling you like if you want to come to the grand canyon right now is like a really good time to come despite the visitor center being closed everything else is still open like it is just so much more peaceful there's not a bunch of people running around you know what i mean like it's not hectic you can just literally sit there and like enjoy the view we need to head over to our hotel for the night it's about an hour's drive we're gonna be staying in flagstaff arizona and then stay tuned for tomorrow. We are going to be doing the Verde Railroad. So I am super excited for that. And I see you guys tomorrow. Damn, my hair is like a frizzy mess uh, that's what i get for using hotel shampoo anyways good morning guys we got into our hotel last night it was an absolutely gorgeous drive i had not been to flagstaff before so i was not aware that it was like actually in the mountains like my husband and i were driving and i saw the mountain and i'm like dude wouldn't it be so cool if we were like gonna drive into the mountains he's like no, I don't think so. Cause like the GPS says we only have like 30 minutes to go and I doubt like the mountains are that close. And like sure enough, those 30 minutes felt like forever, but like we ended up like in the mountains. We are getting ready to head out. We found out that we are actually pretty close to Route 66. So we just wanna take a drive and see if there's any type of like sign or like anything just to see it because I think that would be kind of cool and then we have our scheduled train ride at one o'clock so that is the plan for our morning and let's go ahead and get into it You guys it is so freaking cold outside but we got a few good photos and it's just a really cool thing to see there's a lot of nice little shops in this like old historic district if you are staying in Flagstaff just to like go to the Grand Canyon don't bypass the fact that you're like right on Route 66 and there's a lot of cute small uh, businesses that you can support here All right guys, so here we are at the train depot. Well, we just picked up our train tickets at the little gift shop that they have there. On our tickets, it said to get here like an hour early because they had like a museum and like a cafe and stuff, but it's actually kind of small. And we saw a town when we were driving in that we'd rather go spend our hour at, so we're gonna go there. As we were driving down, we stumbled upon this place that looked really cute. It was like a little railroad 
and or a little train I should say and it said cafe so we're like you know what let's just eat here like we don't want to waste too much time so we ended up staying there and it was so good so highly recommend if you guys are watching this because you were considering doing the Verde Railroad uh, train tour or whatever it's called definitely make it a point to stop at Violet's Cafe Bakery they are so nice and the food like it was literally the best croissant that my husband has ever eaten and he eats a lot of croissants so and we were actually talking to one of the chefs that was in there they used to have a bakery but unfortunately due to COVID it did have to shut down because they weren't making enough business so it's always nice to help support local business I always tell my husband why are we gonna travel if we're gonna go eat at McDonald's like no you go to travel to eat at local businesses and support and see what their flair and their flavors about right so definitely check them out I'm gonna leave their um, Instagram and Facebook links in my description I got like a little pamphlet that shows some of their food it's so delish. If you're watching this specifically to come to this area, go there. You will not regret it. Cars. We got a bar there. Everyone has nice open windows. I assume if you're a couple, you get these small tables. If you're a group, you get the luxury couches. You get either choice of champagne or apple cider for a toast when the train takes off. in our car we are driving away from the train station right now the whole train ride itself was like three and a half hours or something like that if you guys do see this video or if you're looking for this specific video because you're thinking about coming here thoughts that you should keep in mind if you want to do this number one is when you go online to look up the tickets they have it split into three categories. We got first class because we couldn't find any tickets in coach. They were like all sold out. I asked the lady what the difference really was between coach and first class. And she said only two out of like the whole 10 cars that they have are like considered coach cars. And she said those are basically just school bus style cars. The first class is not really anything special. So if you're able to snag a coach seat, just do that probably, like that'll be good. Each car has an open air car as well. So regardless of if you do end up like snagging a coach seat, you still get to go outside and sit out and see everything. Second thing, if you are prone to headaches or you can't handle loud noises, like if you have like a small child with you that doesn't like loud sounds, I do not really recommend this train ride unless you want to sit inside the whole time. Like the brakes on this train, when I say they are loud, like they are loud, like you can't even hear yourself thinking. I'll insert a little like clip with sound so you guys know what I'm talking about. You probably won't enjoy it as much because you can't sit outside and take in the scenery like a lot of the other passengers are gonna be doing. And the last thing I want to say about the train ride, on the way down, it does get kind of dull because like, it's not a loop. You just go up and then you go back down. So it's kind of like you've already seen that kind of stuff. And at least on the way up, 
they have like a little narration of like, okay, if you look to your left, you can see this. If you look to your right, you can see that, you know, kind of thing. But on the way down, it's just like straight like train music. So <laughs> me and my husband were both struggling to not fall asleep. Like if it's worth the money, I, it's a fun experience, but like if you're really tight on money and like it's this or something else, maybe consider doing something else. Just an addition, P.S. On their website, they did say they were gonna have the Eagle on board, but when we got there, I asked the lady, are you guys gonna have the Eagle on board? Like it said, you, like it would be going between train cars and you can go take a picture with the bird, right? That's what I was super excited for. And she said that they are not doing that because I guess when they first tried to introduce the Eagle, Two people, it got very scared because everyone had to wear their masks and they're not used to seeing people with masks on. With everyone's face covered and like everyone has different colors, everyone has different patterns, it kind of tripped the eagle out a little bit and he was getting a little like, you know, jumpy. So they like basically agreed that they weren't gonna have any live animals on board anymore. I don't know if that was just this time, they're gonna like maybe work with the eagle or if that's gonna be for the remainder of COVID. That is it, that is all I have to say on the train ride. Anyways, that is it for this video, guys. This was the Grand Canyon and the railroad trip video mashed into one. Uh, I don't know how long it's gonna be. It's probably gonna be a bit lengthy. So if you made it this far, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you guys in my next video.